All right, nice and easy. Oh, there's another player over here. All right, player, you do your thing. Seems like they were probably fighting some of the goblins. Ugh, that's probably not a good idea. Let's see, I think we're good here. No goblins at the moment. Let's go and talk to you. Oh, you're not a goblin. Nope. If I had a weapon, I would have flattened all these stinking runs, but they caught me by surprise. I told Suri this was a bad idea. Yeah, she actually sent me. Have you seen the other miners? Lenam Sero fled further into the mine, but Miharl ran into that hut. I'm not sure if he's still alive. Frankly, I don't care. That lazy scale skin left me to die. Many thanks, my friend. When we meet again, the mead will be on me. Sounds good. God, she actually has a kind of a cool foreign accent. I like that. All right. Well, I see. Well, I see no goblins. Quartermaster report. Anything else here? To Suri Dreth regarding mine costs and workers. Against my better judgment, I followed your orders and compiled the following. Uh, complete. Yeah, compiled the following report on mining operation costs, specifically regarding worker costs. Trained miners, fifteen gold a day plus ten gold a uh, day rations. Aragonia miners, ten gold a day plus eight gold a day rations. Huh, so under, our is actually getting severely undercut here. General workers, 8 gold a day, uh, 8 gold a day rations. In, indentured servants, wow, slaves, uh, 0 gold a day, 4 gold for day rations, oversight 1 to 10 gold a day. Huh, and goblins, oh, so goblins were working here as well. Ten, uh, 0 gold a day, 1 gold a day rations, oversight unknown. Trade miners and Argonians produce about the same amount of quality work per day, which is at least double that of a general worker output. Indentured servants output varies wildly, but on a long-term basis they seldom produce more on average than general workers and almost never remain with the mine uh, after their period of indenture ends. Gambits are wild cards. So far they dig like maniacs and have absolutely no interest in anything they pull, put, uh, pull out of the mine. See how they notes of employee theft, and they work on scraps, but I have heard rumbling, particularly from the shamans. They are unpredictable and I suggest we use them sparingly and only for short periods of service. So that's why they started dealing with the goblins and everything. They just goblins are plotting something. So they were using goblin slave workers pretty much. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I have yet to see a single goblin here, surprisingly. Who are you? Did Suri send you to kill me? No, I'm actually here to save all the workers. They must think me thick shell, and they be right. I came to help. No one, not even a goblin, deserves to be a slave. Suri Dreth used their totem to control them. So I stole the totem. I thought if I returned it to the goblins, they'd leave. They're still here, even though I have not seen a single goblin so far. And they even chose a war chief and settled in. They'll keep attacking the village until the vice cannons wipe them out. Help me clear the blood from my name. Suru Dreth wants the totem returned to her. So she can enslave the goblins again. That would bring peace of sorts. I can't bear that. If I had the totem, perhaps I could solve this. Go out the mine's back exit to the goblin camp above us. The war chief must have the totem. Stay here until bring the totem back. Please hurry. If the vice cannons arrive before we get the totem, they'll just kill or enslave the goblins again. This was supposed to be a clear stream, but it is now fouled with blood. Uh, I need to know more about the totem, actually. I'll tell you what I can. I'm no expert on goblins. That's fine. Uh, how does the totem give Suri Dreth control over the goblins? Goblins always chase after their totems. Suri knew that. She paid someone to steal it from the goblins. She lured them here and then hired a mage to enchant the thing. Apparently, goblins are easy to charm. Not surprising. If we destroyed it, what would happen? I don't think it would be good. I heard a story once about an Argonian who destroyed a goblin totem. He wanted to save his village. The goblins went on a rampage for weeks. They shredded tree, hut, and nest alike. Sounds like a bad idea, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna try to avoid doing that. Uh, where's the totem now? It's already with the goblins, I believe. Upstairs? Maybe? Let's just ask for the, you know, question's sake. After I gave it to them, the biggest beat the others into submission and took it. So now he is the war chief. Huh. He's probably close to the center of their camp. They circle around their totems like flies on a carcass. 
How does the totem give Suri direct control? Oh wait, I already asked that. Never mind. All right, it's a quest outside of here. Hodmar dead. So we're gonna check this out. I see no goblins at the moment. I'm guessing what happened is that it went out through the back entrance here. And that's where they're at. I just didn't get to see him here. Mess report. No, there's another goblin here. Oh no, there are goblins there. Okay, never mind. There are here. Let's use the food scraps and see if you can. Uh... Oh, one goblin is eating food. The rest are eating food. Alright, well, uh, looks like goblins don't seem to care. That's good. I'll use that in my advantage as I try to go through them. No root shaman. Let's see if you can throw some foot scraps to them. There you go, guys. There we go. Everybody have some food. Just enjoy yourselves. I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. Don't worry about the Aragonian who's sneaking around. Hello, Durzog. Just chill there. Just hang out there, buddy. Let's see if you can climb upstairs and figure out how can we deal with a goblin problem. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you enjoy yourself. It's all yours. Have fun. God, goblins don't seem to care too much, do they? They're like, oh, I got my food. I'm happy. I'm a happy goblin. <laughs> see, sometimes conflicts can be easily solved by tossing food at something. Let's toss the food at the animal over there. We're gonna fight it out. Now they're gonna share. They're like, okay, we got food. You know, we're happy. We're a happy bunch. Let's toss food up there. There we go. I hope I don't have, like, limited food here. See any more goblins in the area? I don't think so. Let's see if we can maybe trade for the totem with lots of food. I seem to... want to... Actually, I think I might have to attack these guys. I don't have any more food with me. Which kind of sucks. I can't even loot any more food. I guess I'll have to fight these guys over here. There's no way for me to sneak around them at the moment. Yeah, the dog is definitely going to see me if I sneak right behind it. The goblin will see me as well. I'm guessing I'm going to have to fight these guys over here. So we're going to probably attack this skirmisher first and see if we can take him out. You know, I probably should not be fighting them because they I've been asked not to kill any of the goblins. Because these guys are unreasonable, so I'll have to kill them. Nice. Alright, let's keep sneaking around here. Hodmar over there. Okay, so we got... Let's go to Hodmar real quick. First, let's check on Hodmar. Looks like maybe there's a dead body. He might have some information about the goblin. So I'm gonna go ahead and sneak around to him real quick. Check my surroundings. No goblins in the area. Let's go loot him. This Nord was recently killed. His belongings are in disarray, but the rune stone remains clutched in his hand. Let's examine it. A number of Nord runes are carved on one side of the stone, with the name Hodmar Iron Kettle on the other. Hodmar may be related to LV Iron Kettle, maybe. We should take this to LV Iron Kettle in Matri Village. It's actually a really good idea. Last reminder. Oh, we're probably gonna be bringing bad news to the girl. Edvi, uh, if that's your brother and or husband and or fiance and or family member, I am really sorry. I can't do much for you. Oh, block this. I don't often go into the first person mode to actually fight, but it's actually really cool to do it. Nice. Also, block. If you're gonna be playing this game, <laughs> one tip from a new player, block. It's gonna be really helpful. Take your time with battles. Don't rush into it to just kill immediately. Sometimes blocking is the way to go. Let's see if you can go through here real quick. Some goblins over here. Let's see if you can maybe avoid them. And just head over to the totem. Okay, we got the big popper chief over there. He has the totem. We will probably have to attack him. What's the best course of action? It's probably the totem is over there in that thing. Can we go around the range chance? Probably cannot. We'll have to attack him nevertheless. Alright, he's on level 25, so shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and attack him. We can him ulti on him and then try to stun him. And then just open up a full damage. There we go. There we go. That was actually pretty easy. Take all this. Alright, I'll, I'll be right there. Let me just search the trunk here. I got a bunch of stuff to loot. Let's take this as well. Ooh, look at this. We're getting all these kind of goodies. Don't know why I healed there, but let's go and put the weapons away. 
and move out of here. Who is down here? Hello. Hi. Oh. Dagnar the Breaker. Oh, he must have fought all these guys, didn't he? Uh, Nalra Butcher. Should really be inspecting these guys, or... I guess not for now. Hello. I figured Sori Dreth would send someone after the totem. Just had to hide nearby and wait for rescue. And here you are. I'm not delirious enough to think she sent you to save me. What are you doing down here? Sori Dreth brought me in to keep the goblins in line. That trinket of theirs only does so much. All these years of experience breaking slaves to be properly obedient, and then a damn goblin stabs me. Alright, from the top, tell me everything. That soft-hearted Argodian stole the totem, breaking its spells. I'll wear his hide for boots. Goblins are animals. We were teaching them a trade. With you here, there's still hope to salvage this mess. I don't take kindly to saying you want to wear the Argonian. Uh, you want to wear his hide for boots. Granted, we are Argonians, so that's kind of a a racial offense, right? That's a racial... Well, it's not slower, but I guess it is a racial offense. Uh, I don't take kindly to it. I find it offensive <laughs> as a video game character of this world. Uh, anyway, but how can we save the village? Beat on or some the mine? For a bit, then slam that totem down in front of them. They'll cower at the sight. While you do that, I'll climb down. Meet me inside the mine at the slave quarters. We'll retake the place if you've got the totem. Hmm. Use a null root goblin totem or weaken goblin on weakened goblins. So that's what we gotta do right now. Alright, I guess let's try to find some goblins here. We can probably attack these guys over here. And try to not kill them. Let's just weaken the best weaken them to the best of our ability. There we go. Use on this guy. That was quite a sound there. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Oh you nibble little guy, aren't you? There we go. Come on, I use it. Am I can I not use it? I don't take butt. I need to reset. Wait for this thing to reset. Hold on. Is that ever going to reset? I'm pressing A. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Hold on, buddy. Let's try using it now. Nope, still nothing. Still nothing. What the hell? <laughs> Does it need to be reset? Hold up. Hold on a sec. There we go. So apparently the tone needs to be reset every single time. Let me see if I can find the quest items. No rude goblin totem. Yeah, apparently I gotta wait until it resets. So maybe if I could like kill them, you know, weaken them together and take them out twice at a time, you know? Maybe that could be a possibility. <laughs> apparently the totem had a cooldown, I didn't realize about, but now that I know about it, it's a lot more interesting. Let's do this here, see if you can weaken a couple of them. Let's be very careful here. Wow, they make quiet noises there, don't they? Uh, come back here, bud. No, no, come back here. Where do you think you're going? There we go. Gather them all together. And use the totem. Never mind, we gotta use them one at a time. Um, I guess we can use them all together. <laughs> what great goblin noise to make, huh? Can you use totem on you guys? Oh, I can. Can you use totem on you? I can still, not on you. Guess I gotta wait for it to reset here. There we go. Alright, cool. We just need one more goblin here. Where's a single goblin? Goblin, hello, sir. Hello, Goblin Butcher. Just the man I was trying to find, or Goblin that I was trying to find. I don't know what he's gonna do. Can we drop the totem yet? There we go. Take the Root Goblin Totem to Miharl's hut inside the mine. Alright, let's come back for that. Well, that was quite something. <laughs> First time uh, learning how to dominate. The goblin tribes and just the goblins themselves, that was quite fun. Not gonna lie, that was actually kind of, kind of fun. <laughs> little buggy, but quite fun. So we are the Goblin Whisperer. We literally are the Goblin Whispered. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, let's go down here. Nice and easy. Can't avoid... Oh, these guys actually don't want to fight us. I wonder if they just don't want to fight us in general. I think I could just like run freely now. But, like They see me as a superior, so I don't have to worry about them. Yeah, nobody seems to... uh. Wow, these guys are actually pretty passive now. See, you guys can be nice. You guys can be nice. Look so weird. Goblins, in this game especially, look cool, but so weird. God, it's, it's actually kind of cool that they actually wear armor and everything. 
This sorta looks civilized. Sorta. Let's see if he can go down to the mine, to the hut. I kind of want to side on the side of the Argonians, though. I don't want to side with enslaving the goblins. I want to try to see if maybe we can free them. Because even though they are mindless creatures, teaching them to trade is one thing. But you got to pay them properly if you're going to be treating them, you know, teaching them to trade. Because otherwise they will not know what the concept of money is. If you're going to, you know, if you're going to teach them to do something, might as well incorporate them or try to incorporate them to society. Don't just treat them like cattle. They have some sort of a governmental system that they work on. So, yeah. So we can choose to give the totem to... Thargnar or Maharl? I'm going all the way for Maharl. Quick! Give me the totem. I'll use it to lead the goblins into the swamps. They won't bother anyone after that. Sure, they're not civilized, but they don't deserve this abuse. How do you know the goblins will listen to you? I don't, but I have to try. If we enslave them, what does that say about us? It isn't about the goblins, really. It's about what we want the pack to be. And I want it to be better. You know what? I'm totally down for this guy. Granted, Argonians were enslaved by Dark Elves. And yes, we want to make sure, you know, we want to be progressive, put things behind us, turn the pack into something that can be we can be proud of. If we just continue the slavery for the pack, then what's stopping Dark Elves from enslaving Khajiits, from enslaving Argonians again, from enslaving other races? What stops uh, High Elves from enslaving more people? Because I think they actually enslave a lot more people, if anything. They are, it seems like they enslaving a lot, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go all the way for this guy. It's a big deal for Argonians, uh, so as an Argonian, I feel that Argonian pride. <laughs> which is what I love about this game, it really makes you feel like you get the pride of your race. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and side with him, and hopefully he can lead all the goblins back to a swamp where they don't have to be participating in slave labor, and if they die by a player just going through and eradicating them, then so be it. At least they're not gonna be working as slaves in a mine. Take the totem and lead the goblins to freedom. May the rains be ever on your back, friend. This nightmare will be over shortly. Let my brothers know I'll see them soon. Sounds good. Good riddance. Thragnar the failure. To freedom! <laughs> Thragnar the failure. Let's talk to him. I can't believe you actually sided with that coward. Go die in a hole, goblin lover. The pact doesn't need any more snowbacks like you. Sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. I will... Probably down a hole, but at least I'll die in a hole making sure that no goblin is enslaved. <laughs> at least we are standing up for what we believe in, and that's what matters to me. Talk to Mithrala's brother in Matri village. Okay, let's do that real quick. And let him know that the brother is okay, just taking care of some goblin stuff. <laughs> this is cool, I'm liking this. I'm liking this area. I'm, like, I'm, I'm glad that I went over to this zone. This is actually pretty awesome. Let's see, let's go over here. There's also another side quest we can participate in. Talk to Ed Edvi. Yeah, we also gotta let Edvi know about her brother or her fiance or whatever it is. Let's go ahead and let her know first. Thank you for getting me out of that mine. My husband and I are indebted to you. Once things have calmed down, I'll get you that mead I promised. And it'll be good stuff from Hodmar's private stock, assuming the goblins haven't stolen it. Who? ha. Uh, wow, that's actually, uh... I was hoping that would be her brother, because, I mean, I mean, it's family and all, but, and I think it might, well, actually, it doesn't matter if it's her brother or husband, but. This is hard. I mean, if it's her brother, I would think she would understand what they were going into, but the fact that it's her husband, you know, somebody she is, you know, married, somebody she is bonded with by marriage, Oh god, this is gonna sting or so bad. I am really sorry. I found this ruin in a goblin camp in ahead of a dead nord that might have had your last name. Why is it it? No. My beloved Hodmar. He was so strong, so tough. I thought he made it out alive. By Mara, I'll kill those goblins, one and all. Well, now I know who is going to be killing the goblins once uh, our Oregonio frame takes him back to the swamp. Uh, I am so sorry. That is really rough. Being the bearer of bad news and quests and stuff is not a good feeling. Anyway, let's go back to Nepetui here. My brother went to lead the goblins away. We're hoping he succeeds and returns safely. Thanks for your help, my friend. I'm glad I could help. May the swamp give you bountiful fruit 
Plentiful fish and sharp stones, my friend. You've done a great service for our egg brother, and it will not be forgotten. Thank you, Number Two. I really appreciate it. Oh, inventory is full. The problem with every single MMO player out there: the inventory is always full. <laughs> always. Every single time, whenever we need it to be full, nope, it's always full. Or not to be full, it's always full. Ah, what can we toss here? I guess we can destroy all this stuff, destroy all the guts. I could probably put some here. Got granted this a blacksmith and everything. It was talk back to Napa 2, we get the dagger back. May the swamp. And we level up! Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! You know what this means? This means that we can put more points into the stuff that we got here. Let's put into uh, maximum stamina? Ooh, health. Let's put him to health this time around. We're gonna do this. Put him to health. And let's head over to the skills area. Now, what do we want to put stuff into? We could upgrade stuff like piercing javelin. Uh, route of passage? No, we can't upgrade anything here. We could upgrade some passive abilities here. Maybe upgrade an ability here, possibly? Defensive posture? Bolster your defense and reflect the next spell projectile targeting your back. At the caster, oh, that might be kind of cool. The amount of damage you can block increased by five, and the cause of blocking is reduced by five. Ooh, that might be pretty cool, actually. Shield assault, we can't really do much with it. Deflect bolts, no, I don't think. Well, we could probably use the deflect bolts ability. See if we can go to heavy armor and see if we can find a passive here. Uh, increase your armor for each piece of heavy armor equipped, which will be current bonus of 741. Oh, that'd be so nice, actually. That sounds really good. Let's do that. We got 71 for all the heavy pieces that we have here. And now, also, we can go through and equip some of the new gear that we got. For example, well, we can't equip any of the weapons, but we got a helmet, an orcish helmet, which will increase our skill line experience contribution with this item type by 42. So heavy armor is going to be upgraded further and faster. Uh, we can't do anything with the curious. Well, I think there's the shoulder pieces that we can wear now. No, there's not. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's a waist, maybe, that we can wear? Now mind. Oh, well, that's a heavy armor. I think we should probably put on the light. No, we don't want. We already have light armor. <laughs> the hands that we can. No, no hands we can wear. Oh, maybe. 358, 330, uh, 538, 535. Okay, new hands we can wear. His root bands. No new legs, I don't think. No new feet, I don't think so. 420, 51. Okay, yeah. no, but I think that's about it. I don't think we can equip anything else, but. We are able to uh, get some upgrades and increase our health bar and make sure that we get a lot more arm rating for the total amount of gear that we have, which is pretty freaking awesome. Alright, from here on, we could probably head down to the southern area here, maybe see if we can walk around near the hatching pools, we've already been there. We could come over to the zoo here, apparently there might be something at the zoo that we could do. It shouldn't be kind of a, you know, kind of decent run from one place to another. For now though, I think what we're gonna do is just take a little break here, find this as our nice little stopping point, and uh, maybe see if we can sell some things that there any, you know, merchants here. Maybe we might steal, maybe. Shh. Don't tell anybody, shh. <laughs> Don't tell anybody here yet. <laughs> anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. Come back next week for more episodes of Elder Scrolls Online, and please, feel free to write something in the comments, or send me an in-game mail or something. Also, if you can, if you want to add me in game, there's always the information description on how to add me in game with all my information and everything. So yeah, if you play a North American server, be free to add me. <laughs> See ya. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Riel. Welcome to the Hello, what have you got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts of the treasure of the I kind of want to say you could dress better. Oh! <laughs>